Greetings singers, it's me again, it's Mrs McKee, back in my slightly warmer hut this time. The sun's out, the flowers are all blooming, and I'm ready to do some singing. I don't know about you, I've decided this week we're not going to do quite so many physical warm-ups, warm but we're going to get our mouths moving instead. I hope you're going to be able to do this. I'm not sure I am, to be honest but I'm going to give it my very best shot. We're going to do a song, first of all, that is a proper tongue twister. Can you say this for me? How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? Next bit goes like this. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. This is a real tricky one and it's going to go quite fast. So if you find it too difficult, you can always fast forward onto the next song. But do have a go. Maybe you need to get your mouth moving a little bit. You need to get your teeth working, your lips moving, your tongue in and out. And you need to say cookie, 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 cookie before you start. Cookie, 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 cookie. Excellent. So I'm going to do that little section again and let's see if your mouths move a little bit faster this time. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? You do it. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? And then the next bit goes, when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. We do that two times. Can we try it? Without any singing, just saying the words. So big breath, off we go. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? And again, how many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? Did you do it? That's quite tricky. Well done if you made a good attempt. So that's the first verse of the song that we're going to do in a minute. It has got a tune. So here it goes. My go first. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? I'm just going to do that bit for you. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? You'll go. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? And then the next section goes. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. I'll do that again. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. When a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies. Okay, so those two together will sound like this. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? You'll go. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? It's a real mouthful, isn't it? Did you try? Well done. We do that two times, okay? When we get to the end of that bit, we have to take the most enormous breath because the next section is basically counting 20 cookies. If you can do it all in one breath, I will be amazed and very impressed. But if you need to take a breath after 10 cookies, I don't mind at all, okay? And it's all on one note. So it will go like this. One cookie, two cookie, three cookie, four cookie, five cookie, six cookie, seven cookie, eight cookie, nine cookie, ten cookie, eleven cookie, twelve cookie, thirteen cookie, fourteen cookie, fifteen cookie, sixteen cookie, second cookie, 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 nineteen cookie, twenty cookies. Although I got a bit tongue tied at the end there, but that's really how fast it has to go. All in one breath if you can. So from the beginning, let's see if we can do all of that section. Okay. So how many cookies can a cookie cooker cook? Are you ready? Off we go. How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? How many cookies can a cookie cooker cook when a cookie cooker cooks crisp cookies? One cookie, two cookie, three cookie, four cookie, five cookie, six cookie, seven cookie, eight cookie, nine cookie, ten cookie, eleven cookie, twelve cookie, thirteen cookie, fourteen cookie, fifteen cookie, sixteen cookie, seventeen cookie, eighteen cookie, nineteen cookie, twenty cookies. Oh my goodness, I almost got to the end there. How about you? Fabulous. Right, you thought that bit was hard. This has got two more verses. The next verse is all about icing cookies. 
How many cookies can a cookie ice a ice when a cookie ice a ice is cookies? How many cookies can a cookie ice a ice when a cookie ice a ice is cookies? Try it with me, off we go. How many cookies can a cookie ice a ice when a cookie ice a ice is cookies? How many cookies can a cookie ice a ice when a cookie ice a ice is cookies? Did you get that? Then we have to count all the way up to 20 cookies again. Okay, so first verse is about cooking crisp cookies. Second verse is about icing iced cookies. And then the last verse is about eating them. So it'll go like this. How many cookies can a cookie eater eat when a cookie eater eats iced cookies? How many cookies can a cookie ice sorry, eater? How many cookies can a cookie eater eat when a cookie eater ice ice cookies? Cookie eater eats iced cookies at the end then. Should we try it? Off we go. How many cookies can a cookie ice eater eat when a cookie eater eats iced cookies? How many cookies can a cookie eater eat when a cookie eater eats iced cookies? Oh boy, this is going to be tough. This time, we don't count all the way up to 20 cookies. For the very last verse, what we have to do is seven bars, so that's seven of my counts, just going lots and 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 lots of. And then the very last bit is cookies. Can you try that with me? So seven lots and then cookies at the end. Lots and lots, get those mouths moving. Big breath, off we go. Lots and 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 lots of cookies. Okay, so three verses, cooking crisp cookies, cooking icer icing cookies, eating iced cookies. I might have to sit down so I can look at the words for this. You guys can just rewind and do it all over again. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? It's a bit faster. <clears throat> okay, plenty breaths. Are you ready? Here we go. How many cookies can a cookie cook a cook when a cookie cook a cook's crisp cookies? How many cookies can a cookie cook a cook when a cookie cook a cook's crisp cookies? One cookie, two cookie, three cookie, four cookie, five cookie, six cookie, seven cookie, eight cookie, nine cookie, ten cookie, eleven cookie, twelve cookie, thirteen cookie, fourteen cookie, fifteen cookie, sixteen cookie, seventeen cookie, eighteen cookie, nineteen cookie, twenty cookie. Slices, 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 sl
Yodelay-hee-hee-ho. You have to imagine that you're on the top of your mountain and you're calling to your friend on the other side, on the other mountain. And they have to be able to hear you really clearly. So it's nice and bouncy. My go first. Yodelay-hee-hee-hee. Yodelay-hee-ho. Your go. Yodelay-hee-hee-hee. Yodelay-hee-ho. And then it does the same thing, only lower. Then you do the first one. And then the last bit's a bit slower. Do you see? By the end of the song, you will know that beautifully. Now the next thing we have to be able to do are the actions and the sounds for the characters that the young Austrian meets on the way. Okay, so the first thing that he sees is an avalanche, which is when all the snow falls down really quickly from the mountain. It's very, very dangerous and it can be set off with the, sh the smallest, smallest sound. So we will have an avalanche interrupting his cry that will go shh shh okay so the first thing is an avalanche and we go shh shh okay the second part is where he meets a very famous sort of dog that goes to rescue people if they get stuck in an avalanche great big dogs if you've ever been to the buckingham uh, parades the christmas carnival they quite often have these really amazing St Bernard dogs there with little barrels full of brandy to uh, help their rescued souls. So the St Bernard dogs are going to go because <laughs> they're panting. Okay, so the St Bernard dog will go <laughs> so the avalanche is shh shh St Bernard dog then if he's really unlucky, he might see a grizzly bear. Grr, grr. You do it. Grr, grr. Okay, so we've got three. Avalanche, Sir Bernard Dog, Grizzly Bear. Next one. Once the Sir Bernard Dog has rescued that poor young Austrian, he's gone and headed off on a mountain train. I bet you can guess what the sound for this will be. Woo, woo. Easy peasy. You do it for me. Woo, woo. Fabulous. Then on the way down the mountain, he might well see a lovely, beautiful brown cow. It's a Jersey cow. And the Jersey cow is going to go, with your lowest voice, got it? So from the beginning, what have we got? Avalanche, shh, shh. St. Bernard dog, grizzly bear, mountain train, woo, woo. Jersey cow, at the bottom of the mountain, the young Austrian finally finds his true love. So he's going to give his true love two big kisses. You don't need to practice that, I bet you're ever so good at it. And then there's a surprise at the very end. I'm not going to tell you what the last thing is, but it's something you might not have expected to see in a mountain. Okay, so the very beginning of the song is all about the young Austrian. And we add on a verse and the character and the thing each time with the yodeling in between. So without the music, it'll sound like this. A young Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high when along came an avalanche interrupting his cry and then we do the yodels okay so each time it's going to be different it's not going to be avalanche interrupting his cry it will be st bernard dog and the rest all right so here goes the first bit a young austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high you do it with me a young austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high and then the next bit is almost exactly the same, just different words. When along came an avalanche interrupting his cry. You do it. When along came an avalanche interrupting his cry. 
So from the beginning, a young Austrian went yodelling, off we go. A young Austrian went yodelling on a mountain so high, when along came an avalanche interrupting his cry. And then we do our yodels with the sounds in between, with a wonderful bit at the beginning. Do you get the idea? Try the yodels with me, with your best upperly doubly voices. We with a big yodely at the beginning. Off we go. Yodely, 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 oh sh Yodely, yodely, oh sh Yodely, yodely, oh sh Yodely, oh. Okay. Then it's verse two, so we sing the whole thing all over again, but we sing St Bernard Dog instead. A young Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high, when along came a St Bernard Dog interrupting his cry. But when we do the yodeling, we have the shush shush first, and then the St Bernard Dog sound. So it'll go like this. Yodely, do you get the idea? Now, you might want to go back to the beginning of this little section, rewind and possibly write down all the different uh, characters and things that are going to interrupt the young Austrian on the way. If you find that easier to remember what they are. I'm not clever enough to be able to put them up on a screen next to this. So if you don't do that, you're just gonna have to bear with it. So we've got shh, shh, avalanche. It's a Bernard dog. Grr, grr, grizzly bear. Woo, woo, mountain train. Woo, Jersey cow. True love. And then the very last bit, which might be a surprise. Let me get the right track up. But even if you don't get the right sounds, I'm sure you can do beautiful yodeling, which is really what the song is all about. Here we go. Here we go.
yourselves an enormous clap. Well done, you. Goodness gracious, that's a proper mouthful of a song, but I love it. It's really good fun. And you can do it getting faster and faster if you want to at home. Okay, so we've got a few minutes left. I'd like to finish the very end uh, of our Thank You Lucky Stars song that we started last time. Next week, we're gonna do another fabulous song, which is one of those put your lighter in the air, sway from side to side kind of songs. But I thought today we should finish our Thank Our Lucky Star song. We did brilliantly at the chorus last time. Do you remember? Share what you have with people you love and life gets better. And then there were the little echoes. Give what you got to people who've not and life gets better. Be thoughtful and grateful and thank your lucky stars for all the food that we eat and this planet that is ours was the first chorus. And do you remember that each time we did it, we added a little tiny bit on? Be thoughtful and grateful and thank your lucky stars for all the food that we eat, the oats and the wheat and this planet that is ours. Is the second chorus. And then the very last one was about folks we meet. Can you join in? Be thoughtful and grateful and thank your lucky stars for all the food that we eat, the oats and the wheat, the folks that we meet and this planet that is ours is the very end. Okay, so we're going to see if we can do the verses this week so that we can finish it off. I hope that you've been able to get hold of the lyrics, in which case it's going to be a whole lot easier for you. If not, like I said before, just rewind and do it a few times over until you've got it. Okay, so the very first verse goes like this. Look around you, tell me what you see. Can you do that bit? Off you go. Look around you, tell me what you see. And then the last bit, the next bit goes. A world that's full of possibility. You try it, off you go. A world that's full of possibility. Okay, and then we have water to drink and food to eat you'll go water to drink and food to eat my go clothes to wear shoes on your feet clothes to wear shoes on your feet and then at the end of every verse it does this bit we give thanks to you okay so verse one is about looking around seeing what's available for everybody what can we do in these difficult times? And what should we be thankful for? We've still got water. We've hopefully still got some food. We've still got things to wear. We've still got shoes on our feet. So thank you, whoever gave those to us. The second verse is about the people that grow all that food for us. The farmers. See the plants and food the farmers grow. Your go. See the plants and food the farmers grow. And then it goes like this. Takes a lot of hard work, don't you know? Your go. Takes a lot of hard work, don't you know? Okay, so it's the same tune, just different words. Next section goes like this. Every day they work the land. Your go. Every day they work the land. Rain and sun lend a helping hand. Rain and sun lend a helping hand. And, and then it's we give thanks to you again. Okay, so that's first two, all about the farmers growing that food for us. Verse three is all about sharing the love that we've got. It goes like this. Thank you for the love you give to me. Your go. Thank you for the love you give to me. And then here's a big word, generosity. It's about not thinking about anybody else when you're giving them something you're just doing it for the kindness of your heart thank you for your generosity you do it thank you for your generosity okay and then the very last bit of verse three goes like this when i'm sad and feeling blue when i'm sad and feeling blue i know i can turn to you 
I know I can turn to you and then we give thanks to you. So hopefully you should have all all the words now that you need to do this song. Yeah? I think I might stand up for this. I'm going to put my music stand there so I can see all the words. Okay, um, and you guys, can you stand yourselves up as well? Give yourselves a bit of a shake because we've done a bit of sitting down, haven't we, for a little while. Get those fingers moving. Yeah, bend, bend those knees, give more wiggle. Fabulous, shake your head. Shoulder roll. Get some energy going because this is a really good, fun, bouncy song. If you want to dance, nobody's stopping you. Dance like nobody's looking. Okay, so we're ready. I'm going to get the CD and we're going to sing it all the way through from the beginning with our best super singing voices. got each other to turn to. Hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next time. Bye!